Blue Origin has made headlines for years, unfortunately not for the right reasons. Constant delays, missed deadlines, and technical issues have kept them in the shadows while competitors like SpaceX soared ahead. But things are finally starting to shift. Just a couple of months ago, Blue Origin successfully launched their long-awaited New Glenn rocket for the very first time. Now, let's be clear. This doesn't instantly make them a serious rival to SpaceX. Not yet. But it does mark real progress. And more importantly, NASA has taken notice. In fact, the agency has recently assigned Blue Origin a highly significant mission. With another new Glenn launch already on the horizon, the company is stepping into a critical phase. In this video, we're diving into all the details. What this mission is about, why it matters, and whether Blue Origin is finally ready to deliver. But before we delve any deeper, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future updates on this unfolding space race. NASA recently revealed something that caught everyone off guard. Blue Origin's Blue Moon. Mark 1 lunar lander is now scheduled to launch in August 2025. That's just five months away. What makes this update so surprising is that Blue Origin, a company known for its delays and long development timelines, is now suddenly positioned to beat other more experienced players in the race to the moon. This update wasn't made through a big press conference or flashy announcement. It came quietly during a presentation at the Lunar and Planetary Science Conference 2025, where NASA showcased a list of upcoming lunar lander missions planned for the next two years. And right at the very top of that list was Blue Origin's Blue Moon Mark I listed above companies like Astrobotic and Intuitive Machines, both of which already have real lunar experience under their belts. For many in the space community, this came as a shock. Blue Origin had been unusually silent about the Blue Moon lander for months. There were no press releases, no new images, no test footage, almost nothing to suggest that the project was nearing completion. The last time Blue Moon made any significant news was when it was first announced and since then, it had quietly faded from public attention. So for it to now suddenly have a firm launch window, and one that's just around the corner, has raised a lot of questions. If the August timeline is accurate and everything goes according to plan, Blue Origin could become the next American company to land a spacecraft on the moon. It would be the third U.S. lunar lander mission to launch this year, following Intuitive Machine's recent success and Astrobotic's upcoming Griffin mission, which is scheduled to fly later this year on SpaceX's Falcon Heavy. Even more surprising, Blue Origin would be pulling ahead of several other companies that have already started testing hardware or even launched missions in the past. It's a major shakeup in the order everyone expected. So, what exactly is the Blue Moon Mark I? And why is it important? Blue Moon Mark I is an uncrewed lunar lander, meaning it won't carry any astronauts on this mission. Instead, its purpose is to demonstrate Blue Origin's ability to safely deliver cargo or science payloads to the lunar surface. Think of it as a test run, a very important one. The mission will allow the company to validate its lander design, test its systems in the harsh lunar environment, and collect valuable data that will shape future missions. But it's not just about proving they can land a machine on the moon. This mission is a critical step toward a much bigger goal. Blue Origin has been selected by NASA to land astronauts on the moon for the Artemis V mission, which is currently planned for 2029. In that mission, Blue Origin will be the first private company to land humans on the moon. Origin will use a more advanced version of the Blue Moon Lander, one that is capable of supporting human life and carrying astronauts to and from the lunar surface. So, in many ways, Blue Moon Mark I is like a dress rehearsal. If they can't pull this off, it could cast serious doubt on their ability to handle the real thing just a few years later. Now, here's where things get even more interesting and risky. Most lunar landers built by private companies are launched into space using SpaceX rockets, which are already proven and reliable. For example, Astrobotic and Intuitive Machines both use Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy, which have a long track record of successful flights. That reduces their risk and increases the chance of a smooth mission. But Blue Origin isn't going that route. 
They plan to launch Blue Moon Mark I using their own heavy lift rocket, New Glenn. And this is where the real challenge lies. Earlier this year, after years of anticipation, Blue Origin finally launched its New Glenn rocket for the very first time. For the company, this was a huge moment. New Glenn is not just any rocket. It's Blue Origin's flagship heavy lift vehicle designed to compete with some of the most powerful rockets in the world, including SpaceX's Falcon Heavy and eventually Starship. The rocket had been in development for years, facing numerous delays and setbacks. So when it finally lifted off the pad, it marked a major milestone in Blue Origin's journey. The successful launch itself was a moment of celebration. It showed that the company was capable of building and flying a massive orbital-class rocket, something very few private companies have ever achieved. It also signaled that Blue Origin was moving out of the testing phase and into actual operational capabilities. But while the liftoff looked promising, the excitement didn't last long. Reports soon surfaced suggesting that the booster may have encountered an issue during the flight. Blue Origin didn't release many details, but the fact that there's been radio silence since that mission has raised a lot of questions. What exactly went wrong? How serious was the issue? Is it something that requires a quick fix? Or does it point to deeper technical problems that could take months to solve? That investigation is ongoing, and until it's completed, Blue Origin won't be flying New Glenn again anytime soon. To make matters more complicated, the company is also waiting on a new launch license. Although Blue Origin is finally showing signs of progress, let's not get ahead of ourselves. They're still nowhere near the level of SpaceX's success. Not even close. To understand the gap, just look at the numbers. Blue Origin has launched a single orbital rocket, New Glenn, once. That's it. One debut flight in early 2025. Before that, all of their flight experience came from New Shepard, a small suborbital rocket used primarily for short edge-of-space tourism flights. While New Shepard served its purpose in testing reusable booster concepts and conducting science experiments, it doesn't compare to the complexity or scale of orbital missions, which are the real backbone of modern spaceflight. Now contrast that with SpaceX, which has been dominating the launch industry for years. In 2023 alone, SpaceX launched 96 rockets, nearly doubling their previous record of 61 launches in 2022. That number included regular Starlink missions, national security payloads, NASA contracts, commercial satellites, cargo missions to the International Space Station, and even test flights of Starship. This is a level of operational cadence that no other private or even government space organization has ever matched. To put this into perspective, SpaceX was responsible for more than 50% of all global orbital launches in 2023. Yes, over half of all rockets launched into orbit last year came from a single company. That's an unprecedented level of dominance. Meanwhile, Blue Origin has not completed even one orbital launch per year until now. Their only orbital-class rocket, New Glenn, just made its first flight in early 2025. And while that's a big moment for the company, it also highlights just how far behind they are. SpaceX is launching weekly, while Blue Origin is celebrating a single launch after years of development delays. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.